Hi and welcome to the third instalment of the Cotswold Honeydale beekeeping blog and on July the 17th we were very excited because this was the day that we were going to receive our first two nuclei from Chris Wells. Now Chris Wells runs Cotswold Bees and he's been very carefully bringing on these bee colonies ready for their arrival at Cotswold Honeydale. 2015 has been a very difficult year uh, for bees in general. It's been very cold and quite wet and the weather hasn't been fantastic. So bees everywhere have been struggling this year, um, let alone the development of young colonies. Introducing the bees to their new hives is a two-step process. The first step is the white nucleus boxes being transported to their intended location and then left there for several hours. So these white boxes contain the, the very young colonies and they're there for a few hours in order to acclimatise and to familiarise themselves with their surroundings. After this, those uh, white nucleus boxes are opened up and then the internal frames are then moved over to the permanent hives. Now, once they've been there for a few hours, it's then time to open up the nucleus boxes and transfer the frames from the nucleus boxes over into the new hives one by one. At the same time, we also have to look through the frames as we're transferring them just to make sure everything is as it should be. Now this includes making sure that the queen is present um, and making sure that the rest of the colony looks healthy and that they're building up honeycomb on these frames. Now you may notice that the nucleus, or the white nucleus boxes only contain a handful of frames and in fact there's only five frames in each of these boxes. Now they have to be transferred very carefully over to the main hive and they must be introduced in the same order as they were being stored in the nucleus box. Now at this stage there's probably only between five and ten thousand bees in the, uh, in the colonies. Uh, this will increase obviously over time, hopefully quite quickly, uh, to the point where there will be between thirty and forty thousand bees in total within the colony. Now the reason that we put these uh, frames into the hive in the same order as they came out of the nucleus box is just to try and make sure that everything is as straightforward and as simple as possible and not to confuse the bees that the hive can be a very sensitive environment and if you start muddling up the frames as you're transferring them it can confuse the bees um, you know the, the queen isn't where they think she is um, and you know it can just generally upset the settling in process now you might be familiar with the use of a smoker and a smoker is a, a very important tool for a beekeeper because what it does is it enables him to subdue the bees whilst he's tending to them now there's a lot of theory as to why smokers work. Um, the one that um, I've been told and the one that um, I'm currently, uh, I currently believe in is the fact that the smoke actually confuses the guard bees. So instead of uh, communicating with each other and saying that we're under attack, instead they're simply saying we're not quite sure what's going on, there seems to be lots of smoke. Now at some point when transferring the frames over to the new hive you will come across the queen. Now here you will see that the queen is, is, has a blue dot on her back um, and this is quite important because this first of all makes the queen very easy to find in subsequent inspections but it also tells us what year that queen was produced. Now it's an internationally um, accepted um, standard that this year 2015 is the colour blue so this queen was produced this year. Now the lifespan for a queen bee is well can be up to five years so ours is obviously very young and hopefully we'll be holding on to her for some time. Now this is quite a long time quite a long lifespan in, compare, well, in comparison to the worker bees. The worker bees sometimes only well they, they generally tend to last only 40 days. Uh, this is apart from the bees which are produced late in the season and will last the winter but generally 40 days is the expected lifespan for a, a female worker bee. Now it is possible that we might need to change the queen um, during the life of the colony um, but that would generally only happen artificially um, if we were not happy with the temperament of the colony itself. The colony tends to take on uh, the characteristic of the queen so if a hive isn't behaving itself particularly well one way of uh, attacking that is to change the queen and that would effectively mean killing off the existing queen and then the, the colony would then create a new one and then the the colony then would take on the characteristics of the new queen. Now one of the things which is really fascinating about a bee colony um, is the reproductive process um, and here we can see as we zoom in you can see the very small um, white c-shaped larvae at the base of some of these cells. 
Now throughout the life of the colony this process will be repeated um, and it's the worker bees which manage the larvae um, which are the fertilized, uh, the fertilized eggs if you like of the queen bee. Now the queen bee is only fertilized once and from that for the rest of her life she will produce fertilized, fertilized eggs um, and it is decide what the larvae becomes i.e. a worker bee a queen bee or a drone which is a male bee is decided by what it's fed and these worker bees are, are the ones as a colony that decide what the larvae will become now once the larvae has reached a certain stage the the, the capping of the cell is put in place um, and that's the sort of biscuit colored um, capping that you can see here um, and that is actually porous it's a made up of a mixture of pollen and wax so that the air can get into the cell and so that the larvae can then develop now once the frames have all been transferred from the nucleus box over to the hive the hive is then reconstructed and is then in place and ready for the colony to expand after this it's a case of watch this space and see how things develop fingers crossed that the weather is on our side um, and that we don't have too many problems Thank you.